This is our propagation tunnel and at the moment we've got dahlia stock plants here. They've got a bit of flower on them. They're no longer having cuttings taken from them. We're just waiting for the frost because we're going to move these outside and let them get fully frosted. That will get rid of all of the horn, they will go dormant and then we bring them back in and we store them underneath our benches so that we can then restart them into growth sometime around about mid-March. So that's what we do with those stock plants. On this end of the mist bench you can see there are cell trays which have got violas and hardy geraniums in them. Those are all, um, the geraniums are basal cuttings, the violas were tip, soft tip cuttings. And then coming to these trays, which are not segmented, these are our overwintering dahlia uh, cuttings. And they are just done 12 to a tray in compost like this. These will be rooted down shortly. They are actually just putting on a little bit of root here, which means that by the time they're taken off and they're put onto the ground in this frost-free tunnel, they will have small tubers and then they will keep on going. So we've got a large variety of them all growing here and as you can see here is the mist and the mist is really really just a light bit of water that's all it is going over keeping everything moist they've got a nice bit of gentle heat at the base so that the bottom of the trays are nice and warm and they just start rooting out very very gently and that is next season's sales stock here we've got a load of seed all sitting uh, ready to germinate and as you can see these little galardias are just starting. So what you can see are the hairs on the end of the actual seed and they go upright and the roots are just starting and the green of the leaves, the first leaves are just coming out. These are left uncovered and the ones which we've got covered in vermiculite here, they've already started germinating. They have the vermiculite put over the top of them just to give them a little bit of protection. And they're underneath the mist and underneath this plastic screen here, you have got a heated element. And they are just a load of different seedlings all going through. They've all got different treatments. They've all different types in here. Some can take four to 10 days to germinate, some will take a lot longer. And that's just how it all works. And they've got some little tiny seedlings just over here. These are Oryngium um, and they are just coming through. And so next door to them are some more Oryngium and you can see there's a lot of seedlings all coming through there. And it's great to see them because they sort of look like they erupt out of the um, compost, especially here on these Lotus Hirsutus here. They're sort of pushing their way out of the actual soil and into the life and it's brilliant. Here we have a mixture of all sorts of cuttings. These are all tip cuttings. They're Achillea, Viola, Penstemon. This is the last of our Penstemon. We don't normally do them quite so late, but we obviously needed the numbers. Santalinas here, hardy geraniums, and they're all looking really, really good. Look how neat and tidy they are, and they're all in their little cell trays. This is the easiest way for us to be able to do them. These will root down. They will, once they are rooted down completely, they are taken off the bench and they are put onto the ground um, over here. And what we are expecting is to have root like this on the plants so that they will overwinter as really, really tidy little cells like that. In the spring, probably February time, these will be potted up. They will be hardened off in another tunnel. And then as soon as they are rooted into their pots, they go straight outside because we really want the plants to be as hard as they possibly can.